How's it going, guys? Dom here with Dom's Vlogs. As you can know, I'm a little shriveled up for some reason. I, I'm sorry that I don't look like my uh, my best because, well, there are, there are two things. Actually, yeah, there are two things. Three things, rather. You should you should know firsthand while dealing with the type of problems. First off, Disney will make more more uh, remake, live action remakes because they want to make money. Secondly, everybody hates Donald Trump. And thirdly, changing a holiday is a bad, bad, bad idea. Which is what we're going to get to. Hopefully. The third one, you know. So Halloween. Arguably, I think, in my opinion, is my third favorite holiday. I mean, technically, people, including the schools and the Board of Eds, don't count it as a holiday. But I do. I always love the, like, just dressing up in costumes on the 31st, having fun, eating candy, um, looking at the nice little costumes for the boys and girls, either of them being horrifying or kind of cute and funny at the same time. I always love Halloween, and that's the kind of thing. I actually do enjoy it. I do love the, uh, who was that? Oh, yeah, I remember looking at the old Halloween commercials, and they rock, especially the ones with, um, I think there was this woman, uh, yeah, Elvira, kind of like she was in the Attack of the Radioactive Thing from uh, uh, Infinite Warfare. Uh, but we're not talking about, like, the ads and stuff, and why would I, like, people would be asking me, Dom, isn't isn't that kind of like in your code? You're not supposed to talk to a different talk about a different holiday until it comes up. Well, I want to talk about it right here because it's very important for you all to know. So, quite frankly, if you guys really, really want to know what's going on in the in this world here, technically, a costume, uh, uh, I would say business, so to speak. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, their website will be on the be on Google and stuff. You'll find out. I think most of you have found out and probably are disappointed. But let me tell you right now. And for some of you kids too, I feel sorry for you too. But they want they have a petition to, for you guys to sign or for us to sign, and which is now probably almost has like a million signatures for some reason, that they want to switch Halloween to a Saturday, and. And that's what I was mad about. Quite frankly, with Donald Trump, there is a way to stop that. With the way to stop the Disney live-action remix, there is a way to stop that. But to stop this, I have to talk about it with you in very, very, very great detail in my Asperger's brain, autistic style mind, and personality. And that's coming from a perspective of a person who has Asperger's or autism, which I will just keep calling it autism because that's literally what it is. So as far as I know, Halloween is one of the most biggest holidays because they celebrate it on the 31st of October. I think that's the only holiday out of all the holidays, in my opinion, out of all the holidays minus the, uh, what do they call that one? The one with the the one with the uh, the chip, uh, the squirrel or damn I forgot what what was, I think it was a squirrel or a chipmunk seeing his own shadow, uh, that type holiday minus that one, which probably is going to be any other day to be honest. This is the only holiday that celebrates it on its last day of October, last day of the month. That is insane. Now. Christmas is not even close to that. Thanksgiving is not even close to that. Neither is New Year's. Neither is Valentine's Day. Neither is Easter. It is quite clearly the only holiday, in my opinion, really, that only has it on the last day of, the, of its month. And that is what makes it so special, too, is that Halloween on the 31st makes it feel like it actually feels like the best night to have. So... What is this petition? Well, again, like I said, it's supposed to be like a petition to put this on a Saturday. Um, 
which I think is forever, but some people might think, eh, maybe it's just for one, maybe two days. No, I think it's forever. It might be for, it might be good for like one day, which I'll get to, but here's the thing here. This is the reason for it because of it's quote unquote safe and easier to have Halloween. And my answer to that is, so? Even if it's on a Saturday, it, like, you're still not safe. I mean, there are some Halloweens on a Saturday that weren't even safe, period. You Have you seen top lists of people who have died on Halloween? Have you seen the man who killed Halloween? Last night at the Viper Room, the crash of Flight 990, the murder of Martha Moxley. Yeah, I'm looking through all this type of stuff that's going on on Halloween. And also the murder of Patricia Ward. Literally, have you seen it? What kind of mankind are we today is beyond me, which I don't want to get too in-depth because I might insult you, the viewer, and I do not want to insult you, the viewer. I do not want to insult you, the viewer, but I do want to insult the people who thought of this stupid idea that could have been something special. Which I be honest to be to be glad about. Which be honest, one person did not want to talk about it clearly because he thought it sucked. And he's in this picture right here. That's a he, not a she. A he. So let me go in depth into why this is such a bad idea. Now it comes down to I think three parts as well. The the the, the, the third one, which I think is kind of like the least bit of the worry, it ruins the, the tradition of the, the holiday, which will come into play with number one sooner or later. The tradition of Halloween is, is that it's supposed to be on the 31st. That's like putting Christmas in the end of December. That just doesn't fit. That just doesn't fit into the category of anything like that. And, I mean, that's just one of the biggest things that I think is the problem with it. Because, like, you're literally pushing a holiday backwards, and it's not going to feel like that holiday. I mean, literally, it's not going to feel that way. I mean, sure, I can understand why people are putting up decorations and stuff already in the stores, you know. But there are reasons where we have to put it up and not to put it up. Here's the thing for me. I'd rather put up the Halloween decorations and stuff in stores, maybe at the, like, the end of September. Like, end of September into the start of October. So at least you'll have a good market hype. That's the same with basically Thanksgiving and Christmas. The end of that, of that month, and maybe the beginning of the month that starts the holiday. Then the second problem, too, is that they use the excuse that it's quote-unquote safe and easier to do. Like I said with the safe part, with the many descriptions I have put out, it's not, it's still not going to be safe. Even if you think it's going to be a teeny bit safe, it's still not going to be safe. You still have to watch out, there's still problems at night, you know, all that stuff. And still, still, that comes, I think almost all of these come into play with number three about the tradition, but number one is more important. But let me go to the more in deep into the part of being it easier for people easier that means we still have to push up that means if i wanted to go that route if i was that complete of an idiot in a nutshell that means i would have to start in the beginning or the middle of september before the beginning of october so like the middle of september to the beginning of october which starts out just wrong for me if you're pushing people to put out more stuff early, and that still is going to make problems here. And that's kind of like what the biggest problem is. And on top of that, even production trucks and stuff, if they don't come out quick, the costumes aren't out yet, and then sooner or later, boom, everything's out. I mean, here's the thing here. I have a reason that I didn't put a costume on last time on my Halloween stuff. is because I didn't feel like it. But since I had a lot of gigs and we had to find a costume, we found a glow-in-the-dark Friday the 13th mask, which became my image for a little while until I lost the mask. Well, not lose it, I just didn't bring it by accident. But then we get to the number one reason. 
And the number one reason, and I think that's many people, including parents of mine, and even parents that I think everybody should listen to around the world, it creates controversy. Just like with Donald Trump becoming president, it becomes controversy. The, part, the problems with basically other presidents of the United States, it makes controversy. The 24-7 title, controversy. Big man's problems, controversy. CM Punk, controversy. Anything that you could think of that is a problem with the world or even to what we are looking at today, which is media, social media, or even around the world, it's controversy. And this, for holidays, this is controversy. And I can't stand controversy. Literally, I can't stand controversy. I hate it so much, but it's everywhere, and I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it myself. None of you guys can get rid of it. My parents can't get rid of it. My friends can't get rid of it. Hell, not even Freddy Frazbear right here can get rid of it. So, it, there is no point in signing this petition. Sure, you could say it's quote-unquote safe, but that's just an excuse. I mean, that's just the biggest excuse I've ever seen that a person can make. Even an adult. An adult should not make these excuses. <gasps> Excuse me. An adult should not make these excuses. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you make excuses all the time. I have a reason to make them. And even I can say to myself, maybe I feel a little lazy. And that's kind of like what I feel. At least I say it. I'll say it to you. I'll apologize for it. But none of them are doing it. And even an adult should not even, like, like even, how do I even put this here? In my own thick skull right here. Like, the thickest skull that at least cannot go through the idiots here. They're not controlling me, those idiots. Like, these, for an adult, is one of the biggest excuses I've ever seen, period, saying that it's quote-unquote safe, and it's part of, it, it, and it kind of like, you know, makes it easier. It doesn't. It doesn't. It causes problems. It just messes people up. And I'm surprised too because even that million petitions out there, there are still half of the population who are clearly like voting against it. This is literally like movies ratings here. People like the Alice in Wonderland movie. Others just like myself can't stand that movie. Other people like The Lion King, which are clearly mostly adults. Others like me, who have seen the animated version, and although it's not my favorite, can understand why the other population part, including myself, can't stand the live-action Lion King. That's controversy. You cannot. And when you put that with a tradition, which is number three of that problem, that is combining the biggest problem ever could put a protest. Somebody should at least put a petition as well to save Halloween, or at least spiral a biggest like thing to tell the president of the United States not to say yes to this. But even I think he won't even care. He'll probably say yes to it or probably say no to it because he's not that smart. And half of the population again, think he is, when I'm surprised that they got lower intellect than he does. Because, yes, he has lower, lower intellect, but he's such a mind gamer every time he sneers, and that's what's causing problems. Controversy is what's causing problems. And thanks to a president like him, which I think is, his pro is the most problem is him, this is the reason why people are citing this petition. Because because since they, because since it clearly states that he, that they want him to say yes to it, because they want to put a petition to it, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem, and this is the reason why. Because he's a racist pig, he is a jackass. He is clearly not that intellectually ready to become a president of the United States, and also he's a cinematic Adolf rejected by art school Nazi Hitler. Yeah, I just said that. 
as if Hitler wasn't a bastard enough, we get an American version of him right there. Just right there, standing around in, his, in the White House, in his seat saying, yeah, that's right. That's right. I got them by the balls right now. That is literally what Donald Trump is. And he is one of the sickest people that drive my family, possibly my friends, and the, almost the rest of the population crazy because he's a racial pig. He causes racism to happen once again. And then this petition here, which causes more craziness, and also what he's doing to games. Who gives the right for that? And the one thing that drives me crazy about it is... The one thing that drives me crazy about this is how is this legal? Legal. Possibly legal. It is illegal to throw your trash into other people's bins. It is illegal to park wrongly. It is illegal to run around naked into the street. But it's not illegal to change a holiday to a different date. What the hell is wrong with people? What the hell is wrong with people who think this is a good idea? And even this is getting out of control for most people who are big fans of candy. Yeah. So, Snickers. Yeah, my least favorite candy that I will never eat. Ever, 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 ever at all. Says that they will hand out. I think they would say they would hand out free candy for anybody who signs that petition. Are you fucking nuts? And I would say fucking nuts. Yes, people might say, oh, I kind of do this kind of like Donald Trump does. At least I'm not an asshole kind of like he is. At least my hand gestures would make sense to this. That is clearly one of the biggest problems with this petition is that it spirals into the biggest controversy I've ever seen in the world. And that's not what you should do for a holiday like Halloween. You should let it stay on the 31st. You should let it stay on that tradition. It's been there since like the beginning. The beginning when we were making nothing more than like paper mache style masks for Halloween just to get a good scare. This is when we used turnips as original lanterns. This is when we used jack-o'-lanterns to light up the nights and to scare Jack himself away. That is really is what drives us crazy. On top of that too, I mean, the schedule was fine. I mean, 30th was Mischief Night and the 31st was Halloween. I mean, what is the big deal? What was the big deal behind it? I got no clue. The only big reason I would say that I would never sign this is because of the controversy. Controversy, the fact that the President of the United States is going to be saying yes to this, the fact that it's tradition, and also the fact, I actually forgot what the, what the second one was, shit, I actually forgot, thanks to, this, thanks to this petition. It's one of the biggest things that is the biggest problem with our country to this date, and this is the reason why most people don't like America, is because we make the stupidest decisions to everything that we can do. I may be myself a person at heart to tell you this, is that to please do not sign this petition. As a person who looks way too shabby to be like an actual critic, I mean, you've seen a bunch of other critics that look shabby at least, and they make a lot of profit at least with their YouTube videos. I'm still begging you for this. Please do not sign this petition. If anybody in the world can, can make a petition, for the rest of the population to say no to it. That would be the biggest thing that I think we would be doing. That would be one of the biggest things ever. And if Trump does says yes to this, then, then America's done. I know I'm saying this and it feels like I'm pushing this too far, but it's true. America's done.
He's president of the United States. I probably not for long because of the new presidential debate coming up, but that's coming up like what? December, November, I don't know, between those dates. So it's gonna be nuts. And I don't want, I hope the new president says no to this because that really ruins tradition. And I hope he pushes this thing back into the 31st because it's crazy. And the problem with it is this shouldn't be this hard to just put it just for one fucking day. If it was just for, like, here's the thing. If it was just, like, a petition to say, like, just one day we can have Halloween on a Saturday, that could have been fine. Because at least it's for one day. It's not ruining tradition because it's only just for one day. It's not gonna spiral into controversy that much because it's for one day. But making that type of, okay, that's the fourth reason too, excuse. Making an excuse to Kylie quote unquote safe. To say that it's quote unquote safe. To also say that it's good because it's easier for people to like get dressed for costumes and stuff. Here's the thing. If I want to really blame this to anybody who doesn't want, who basically like didn't want this to happen, blame the Board of Eds for all the schools. All the schools, including my own school. Yeah, Board of Ed. I know I shook your hand when I graduated from high school, but here's the fact. You are scum. Scum. And I literally say that with a burning passion. You are scum. And I literally, like, I can't stand it. Like, literally. I literally can't stand the fact that the Board of Ed would, all of it, would quite say that, no, it's not basically, you know, an actual holiday. Not a lot of people celebrate it. Well, Christmas is a holiday. Everybody celebrates it except for, what, like... Jewish people, they celebrate Hanukkah. Um, I forgot other people who celebrate different holidays on somewhere close to December. Um, I got to get back to that type of tradition here. But even I would say that it's pretty much, I can say, is one of the biggest, most dumbest things it possibly can be. That is the biggest excuse as well for the Board of Eds. Yes, not a lot of people are celebrating it. Doesn't mean we can't just deal with it. And the almost thing that, that really drives me crazy is that this shouldn't have been hard as well because we have done this before with Thanksgiving and Christmas. Put this isn't a half a day. Put Halloween as a half a day. This should have been fucking hard. You're still in school. You're still learning at least. You're still going to do homework. I mean, you could still bring out homework. Just let us get out early. At least at, least at 12. That shouldn't be that fucking hard. If we can't be, if we can't bother to be like at Columbus Day for like a half a day anymore, that's fine because at least I know it's spiraling into controversy for Christopher Columbus because he's such a jackass back in the day. But for Halloween, make it a half a day. You're still gonna learn. And not only that, kids are literally dressed for Halloween inside the schools. I mean, what's so fucking complicated? What makes this so complicated that you want to change this to a Saturday? Make this here. I mean, if I were to make changes to this, to not spiral this into controversy here, throw that petition out in the water, burn it into a ball of fire, burn it into the door of hell. That's actually a real thing. Look it up. Burn it in there with all those spiders crawling into it. Put Halloween for schools into a half a day if it's not on a weekend. So at least we could still go out. I mean, here's the thing. We're going to be back in November 1st anyhow. We're going to be going back to November 1st, back in the school, still learning. So it shouldn't be that much of a big deal. So make it a half a day so that at least we can all go up. And plus, if we're still in the costumes, we could still trick or treat. We could just go home, get ready. You know, with our different costume if we want. Or at least make sure we get our candy bags and stuff and then just go out. It's not such a big deal. It's, it shouldn't be this much of a big deal, you know? 
it really shouldn't. And that's to a person who loves Halloween as the way it is. It shouldn't be this complicated. It shouldn't be this difficult. It shouldn't even, this petition shouldn't even exist. And the people who signed it, I'm not going to say shouldn't exist because they should, because they're basically a company, but they shouldn't have made it exist. They may have no reason for, they may have, I mean, I would say the employees and maybe their boss, I would say, basically shouldn't have, then had anything to do with this, but their other boss did, their owner had something to do with this, and they didn't have a choice because if they didn't get those petitions, they'd be fired. I, I don't care. I Fire me if you want to. I'm, I'm not going to change Halloween. It's the same with the 24-7 title with Maria Kanellis. I'll pin her. I don't give a shit if he's pre she's pregnant. I'll pin her to the mat. I'll let Braun Strowman pin her for crying out loud. Much easier than just, you know, having her as the 24-7 champion. Where we'd have a couple of women who are already 24-7 champions. This is like really the biggest thing that I think has fallen into the biggest controversy that led me to become part of this condolence. A million petitions to one of the stupidest ideas that even America could even do. I feel sorry for that because I love America so much and I always stand for the red, white, and blue. But even I can say to myself that even as an American, that is the dumbest mistake you can do. You couldn't have thought of the controversy that these people would put? You have to think before you act. Literally. Think before you start doing it. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, don't, don't judge a book by its cover. That's the same what most people thought with Donald Trump. You don't judge. Nobody judged the. They, they judged the. They didn't quite judge the cover. They quite judged his cover a little bit. But they judged the pages. That's kind of like not making any sense, but you get my point. That's the reason why. And I flat out don't want Donald Trump to ever say yes to this. He's probably going to say yes to it because I already said it, but I don't want him to say yes to this. If he's quite busy, he'll probably say no to it. He'll probably say, take these guys out of my office so I can deal with something really more important, like building a wall for Mexico, which is still the dumbest idea he can ever do. So... My guess is whoever has a basically a petition for them not to sign it, put it out there. I'll sign it. Put it out there. Like, I'll sign it. Mail it to me. Mail it to everybody. I'll take the petition. I'll sign it. I'll put it on, like, I'll, I'll sign it. I'll mail it. And I'll put it there for you. But please, nobody sign this petition. Nobody sign this petition anymore. And whoever signs the, this petition... You're making a big mistake just like you did when you voted Donald Trump. I'll see you next time. I have to... Fucking God. Dumbest idea.